Welcome back, it's back to the basics and we are talking switch stacking. Everything from consolidated management to stacking cables. Let's go! Welcome back to Back to the Basics. We are talking switch stacking. We're talking physical stacking, virtual stacking, consolidated management, and what does cross stack channeling even mean? So first thing, physical stacking. So there's two types of stacking technologies. One is a physical stack, is physical stacking, the other is virtual stacking. And when we're talking about stacking switches, we're talking about those one use switches, one, two, three, four of them. Let's say you have a stack of four, of, four independent switches and you wanna stack them together to get that consolidated management and a few other things. With virtual stacking, what they're doing is not using any stack modules, they're not extending the backplane, they're using the front of the switch, just the ethernet ports on the front, either a 10 gig or a one gig, connecting the switches together, and really what you're getting there is consolidated management. You're not extending the backbone in most cases. So with physical stacking, what we're getting is we're extending the backplane through the back of the switch using a stacking cable, and that's essentially turning these physically separate switches into a consolidated switch that would be like a chassis based switch. Um, so, so those are the two types of stacking. Uh, with physical stacking, all the traffic between switches goes through the back plane as opposed to the front of the switch uh, through like what, what's essentially a trunking port. With virtual stacking, as I mentioned, you're going to be using the front of, front of the ports to, uh, to, to stack them together. The traffic that goes through uh, switch to switch goes through those front uh, switching ports. Really the benefit there is you're getting consolidated management. So let's talk about consolidated management for a second. What is it? Well, consolidated management is, I, instead of logging into four independent switches and managing them independently, I'm gonna log into one IP address and I'm gonna be able to manage the entire set of switches. So maybe it's four, maybe it's three or two, doesn't really matter. I can manage all four of them using one IP address. So it simplifies the management process. That's one benefit of having using stacking. The other benefit of stacking, of physical stacking, is that if PCs or machines or any types of devices are communicating between switch to switch, it's using that high speed backplane as opposed to like a 10 gig or a one gig connection on the front of the, the switch. So you get a lot more performance for if you had two, you know, set of half your servers on one switch, half your servers on another, and they're talking between each other, it's gonna use that backplane which is much more efficient and effective in terms of bandwidth performance than a single 10 gig or multiple 10 gigs on the front of the switch. Um, so, what is cross-stack channeling? Some people hear about uh, this technology or what, what it is. What it, it, it does, in, in the legacy model, if you had two switches and they were, had a port channel up to, let's say, a core, uh, you would have one port active and one port shut down by spanning tree. So what switch uh, stacking, physical stacking does is, again, it consolidates those two physically separate switches together and enables us to set up a port channel across two independent switches up to the core, meaning that instead of getting maybe a single 10 gig connection active and a another 10 gig uh, shut down, we can activate both of them in a port channel. So you'll get 20 gigs of throughput as opposed to 10. And then you may be thinking, well, hey, what happens if one fails? Well, that's okay. In a port channel, it would just go from 20 gig to 10 gig. So in the legacy model, you would have spanning tree working. A 10 gig link would be up. A 10 gig link would be would be blocked by spanning tree. And then, so if, if one of those switches went down or the port went down, spanning tree would converge and then that port would eventually come back up. The convergence time or the time in which it, it takes for it to come back up and traffic to start flowing could be anywhere up to a minute, depending on how fast spanning tree and some other features that you may enable uh, takes to get that working again. So there's a third option that, that we did, essentially is layer three at the access layer. This was a super hot technology. Everybody was all excited about doing it. I certainly was. And so what you would do is you would enable layer three at the access layer. And instead of those ports going back to the core being spanning tree, it would be a routing protocol. So that means we have layer three on both ports back to the core, which we could use things like OSPF or, or EIGRP. So basically it would, it would use both of those paths at the same time using some type of hashing me mechanism, which may be per packet or per session, but essentially the traffic would be load balanced across both. If you lost a link, the, the routing protocol convergence time would make it work faster than spanning tree. 
So those are the three methods. You had spanning tree, one up, one down. You had ECMP, which is the equal cost multipath routing, uh, which, which is layer three at the access layer. And then now you've got this new simplified method, which is stacking and using a, a cross stack port channel. So those are some of the great benefits of, of switch stacking. Consolidated management, you got physical and virtual stacking, and you got that cross stack channel, which makes it super fast down to the access layer and easy to manage. I hope you enjoyed this video. If I said anything that you're like, whoa, what was that? ECMP, give me a video on it. Make sure you leave a comment. Let us know. We'll make a video for you. Like, subscribe, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, whatever it is. Hashtag yeah. All right, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching.